In this vast Rust Belt region of northeast China, coal burning industries dominate the landscape. At this time of year, the temperature often falls to 15 degrees below zero. The days are short. It's a tough environment for a miner. A reminder of the added dangers they face came on December the 2nd, when 32 were killed in an underground explosion. It was the eighth mining accident in China since October, with more than 100 deaths. A labor rights activist group in Hong Kong links this statistic to another, the rising price of coal. There is a definite correlation between the rise in coal prices and the rise in worker deaths. Um, we've seen this in the past. Uh, we've seen it over the many tens of years that we've been watching this issue, issue um, that when coal prices go up, worker deaths go up. According to state media, the pit where the 32 miners perished was privately owned and had been ordered to close several months ago. Yet local government officials have been unable to explain how it reopened without permission. Yes, closed mines are being reopened and it seems that the government is well aware that with the rising price of coal there is a huge incentive to reopen uh, mines that have been previously closed down. At a large state-owned pit, miners there told us that conditions were good. But they also disclosed that a miner had died in an accident here just a few days earlier. The death seems to have gone unreported. We are a very regulated state-owned business. Our operation is normal. I don't know if the coal price is up, but our operation is normal. According to officials at the government body responsible for worker safety, the number of mining accidents in China is actually falling compared to five years ago. But those same officials also concede that a number of mine operators are still putting profit ahead of safety. The coal industry is the lifeblood of northeast China. It provides hundreds of thousands of jobs and helps to meet the region's vast energy needs. But the government finds itself in a bind because it's also committed to cutting carbon emissions as part of the Paris Climate Change Agreement. That means mines must close. Another reason, perhaps, that operators are now getting coal out of the ground just as quickly as they can. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, in northeast China.